Hello students, today we are going to start the summary analysis, analysis of Draupadi by Mahashwata Devi. So I'm talking about Draupadi, uh, it's a short story of 20 pages originally written in Bengali by Mahashwata Devi. It was analyzed in the collection Breast Stories, translated to English by Gayatri Chakravarti Spivak. So uh, obviously if uh, we talk about the story that was written by uh, Shweta Devi then we can say that Devi situates her story against the next light movement that had taken place in 1967 to 71. The Bangla uh, Bangla Bangladesh Liberation War that had taken place in 1971 of West Bengal and the ancient Hindu epic of Mahabharata engaging with the complex politics of Bengali identity and Indian nationhood. The tribal uprising against wealthy landlords brought about or brought upon the fury of the government which led to Operation uh, Bakuli that sought to kill the so-called tribal rebels. That means the uh, rebels were ordered to be killed. Now looking into the story we can say that Draupadi is a story about Dobdi Mahajan. She is a woman who belongs to a Santhala tribe of West Bengal. She is considered or called Robin Hood-like figure who with her husband Dhulna murders wealthy landlords and usher their wills, which is primary source of water for the village. So the main pun, uh, purpose of this plunder is not to become rich or not to like uh, sustain themselves. It is for the well-being of their tribe. So the government attempts to subjugate these tribal rebel groups through many means that is kidnapping, murder, rape. So Dopti is captured, uh, Dopti too is captured by officer Sena Nayak who instructs the army officer to rape her to extract information about the rebel uprising. So ironically the same officer who violated her body insists that she covers up once she is done with. So, intransigently or stubbornly, Dobdi rips off her clothes and walks towards Officer Sena Naik, naked thigh and pubic hair, matted with dry blood. The breast, two wounds. Sena Naik is shocked by her defiance as she stands before him. Now, uh, with her hand on her hip as the object of his search and exclaims, there isn't a man here that I should be ashamed of. So that is, I mean, uh, the defiance that is revealed by Dobti. The story is stripped away from Mahabharata's grand narrative and royal attributes and situated in uh, Champa Bhumi. It is a, a small village in West Bengal. So the Cheer Haran of Draupadi is reconstructed in Devi's story. Uh, she has subverted the narrative where Draupadi is rescued by a man who is Lord Krishna. But instead here in uh, Devi's narrative, Draupadi is rescued, not rescued, sorry. And uh, yet she continues to exercise her agency by refusing to be a victim, leaving men, uh, armed men terribly afraid. So, uh, Dobdi is a woman of strong mind and will as she defied the shame associated with rape, rape and sexual abuse, which is extremely relevant to India. So, especially when we talk uh, of the Me Too movement where many brave women came forward in their, uh, with their stories. So, it is uh, in a way that obviously they had kept aside the uh, shame and then obviously they had come out to challenge the men who had tried to uh, subjugate them or to dominate them sexually. So, Moving on, uh, Devi's representation of Dobdi encapsulates what Spivak means by gender subaltern. Through the dislocation of the epic princess Draupadi to the tribal rebel Dobdi, Devi is able to present voices and perspectives otherwise unspoken and unheard of. So the char character uh, the character of Dobdi allows us to view the subaltern's identity vis-a-vis -vis the hegemonic structure seen through the policeman and officer Sinanayak. 
Thus, Dopti's body become a site of both the exertion of authority, uh, authoritarian power and gendered resistance. So, Dopti uh, bears the torture as she is raped by many men through the encouragement of the voice of other men, Arijit, that urges her to save her comrades and not herself. That means, in that pursuit also, she is not trying to save herself. She is trying to save her comrades, those who are trying to, uh, or those who have helped her, helped them in the work or her in the work. So, however, the attack on her body fades this male authority's voice as she candidly reacts to police. Her refusal to be clothed, clothed goes against the fellow-centric power and the exploitation of her body gives her the agency to step away from the hegemonic patriarchy of the policeman. So, what is phallocentric? Phallocentrism is the ideology that phallus or male sexual organ is the central element in the organization of the social world. That means the dominance of the men. Now, Devi illustrates how any conflict or war results in women's body being the primary target of attack by the men. Because obviously it becomes very easy to control a woman through sexuality. So that is uh, the uh, concept or that is the perception mostly prevalent among the men in the society. So in the context of both the Naxalite movement and the Bangladesh Liberation War, both when, uh, men and women are tortured. But it is much worse for women as they additionally undergo sexual abuse as well. So, thus with Spivak's uh, concept on the subaltern in mind through Dobdi, Devi represent, represents the ge gender subaltern subject who exists at the periphery of society and dares to go against the existence, existing patriarchy or patriarchal structure. So, although we see that uh, Dobdi subverts the physicality of her body from powerlessness into powerful resistance, uh, there are many facets to the mythical drop this character. Devi focuses on the infamous incident where the princess is almost disrobed and subvert it to drop this context. Devi has also said that she is interested in the stories of ordinary people, which is evident through the subversion of Draupadi's rape. So, um, towards the later part of her life, she focused on presenting the narratives of ordinary people. In Draupadi, Devi has also allowed her female protagonist, Dobdi, to, uh, to be submissive and concurred by the male-dominated society, unlike Draupadi from the Mahabharata. I am repeating this sentence. I have just uh, fluked. Devi has not allowed her female protagonist, Dobdi, that means she has not allowed her to be submissive, which happens in Mahabharata. Now, Draupadi's uh, narrative that is universal in its portrayal of women as the most brutal victim of conflict and war. So, this approval on the part of officer Sena Nayak in the story for the officers to make her is reminiscent of the situation of Bangladesh or Birangona and uh, Japan's uh, comfort women. And at the end of the story as she confronts uh, the army officer with her bare body the body that ha that was violated and tortured is also in reverse used as a weapon that means her body is no more a body it's a weapon which is used which is being used so even though dobdi has been physically abused she refuses to be emotionally wounded. That means she turns out to be emotionally stronger than Sena Nayak or the men who has or who have raped her. So in Dobdi, uh, Devi presents a strong woman who, despite being marginalized and exploited, transgresses conventional sexual and societal standard. So Dobdi subverts the physicality, physicality of her body from powerlessness into powerful resistance that means she makes her body a weapon to fight against the men who have tried to exploit her or who has tried to who have tried to manipulate her so who have manipulated her so she does not represent the tribal women by romanticizing her depiction of dopati but instead realistically represent or represents her through simple language and complex emotions dopati recognizes a woman's body as an asset 
through which they can resist resist the social or socio political objectification of the bodies and overcome oppression so this is all for today's analysis thank you all